Hello and welcome to this Warcraft replay. It's going to be another best of three here from the WFTC, the Warcraft 3 2v2s that we've had on early March. And yeah, I'm getting through this relatively quickly. Thankfully, I am trying to follow the schedule of either Monday, Wednesday, Friday or Tuesday, Thursday. Um, so yeah, <laughs> I've been uh, this week so far has been the Tuesday, Thursday. Uh, mainly because I've been a little swamped in assignments, so um, yeah, that's mainly mainly that. Um, yeah, uh, hopefully this one will be interesting because we have a pure mirror. We have a an orc night elf versus orc night elf. Uh, it might be a little confusing since 120 is supposed to be an undead player, but he, this time around he's going to be playing orc. Um, we'll see how well he does. Uh, there are some transferable skills. Between playing different races, um, as you can see with Tho, um, unfortunately it didn't, didn't. Yeah, it didn't work out well last series, I think. Um, yeah, right. Anyway, uh, we're going to be having a Blade Master out for 120. Doesn't look anything different from a usual 1v1, so we'll have to wait and see. Um, and Check is going to go for a Demon Hunter. So same thing for him as well holding my breath right now but probably not gonna expect too too weird of strategies from these two um, <clears throat> yeah uh, introducing the other side we have Loliet winning in as a yeah, blue a night elf also going for a demon hunter first and we have focus a player's force blue orc going for a blade master first so huh I guess we're not gonna have any sort of clear synergies right now. Um, Turn Chieftain with any sort of auras, AoEs, uh, doesn't look like that's going to happen this time around. <clears throat> but then again, I don't actually know the norm of 2v2, so uh, this might just be it. Either way, uh, Turtle Camp being cleared out at the first try. It is going to be the Mantle of Intelligence getting picked up there. Late Master. Just going for the shop and getting a circlet and a dust of appearance. Should be doing this warrior camp and he might just back off after the item. Oh, looks like it is going to be 120's Blade Master. Gonna get disappointed as the shop has no more circlets for him. So always always a smart job for focus to a claim the circlet immediately. Um, so that the other guy can't get it. He gets another circlet from the Ogre Warrior camp, and it seems like he might be going for it. Uh, the camp at 120 site, but 120 with his sixth sense uh, has spotted this. Focus is not gonna let this go. Uh, it's basically the second person who goes for the Windwalk Strike gets it, but that's very strange. Focus did not even try, and he loses a close of attack plus six for that. Um, so. Yeah, maybe he was uh, focused somewhere else, probably not living up to his name. Oh, very close to Mana Burn there, but uh, 11 hit points was the threshold, and he was able to live that. So, very lucky for Loliet. Lots of archers so far for both sides, but they are uh, progressing their way to tier 2. So is 120, and it should be... A focus as well. <laughs> Level two has been gained for the Blade Master of uh, of 120. Uh, should focus on that Blade Master. In fact, no TP scroll means that he could potentially get killed off. But uh, nope, he will just pop that Windwalk. He is still dusted, so yep. definitely a risk to stay nearby. Should just give up the camp entirely. Oh, he actually manages to take the Watch of though, so that is. Always a plus there. Very good start for 120 and uh, check. Although, well, actually, yep, yeah, check. Pretty good start as well. Almost killing off the other hunter is always a good, a good sort of momentum gained, I think. So talisman and claws uh, definitely make it a lot harder for focuses blade message to deal with him. Oh, getting uh, this uh, this watch award might be useful, considering that he's, he's already got the other one. But Windwalk has worn off, and this is probably not a good fight for the red T 
team. His heroes are pretty low health, uh, but at least once when he's able to pick off an archer, it seems like it's just going to be a trade of archers so far. The amount of uh, check needs to be a little careful there, but like they will be able to run away uh, without that many losses. A single archer has been traded for both sides, and I believe both players would a player's forces are under attack. definitely take that. Mm. Oak is trying for this uh, magic camp here, but yeah, the Watch of Ward is a very invaluable uh, asset. Doesn't want to give that up too easily, but then again, uh, there's, o there's only so much that you can do. And the Watch of Ward will be claimed by Focus, and it's also in a pretty good position as well. Now I can see which comes out as the second hero for both, um, I believe, both Night Elf players. But it seems like uh, this night, uh, this Nagasi will should be claimed by the Demon Hunter of the red side. So, yeah, looking good right now for the red team actually. Picking up a couple of kills there. 120's already got a Shadow Hunter. Should be the same for Focus. Um, there we go. But players forces are under attack. Yeah, able to get that to Nagasi, which is just an easy, easy kill there. Of course, Demon Hunters, the best, best killers of Nagasi, which is uh, Hex onto the Shadow Hunter, taking a huge, da huge amount of damage. In fact, Hex onto the Blade Master. He has no way of escaping this, and he gets killed off. Um, level two Blade Master, always a good bit of, um, a good bit of tr triumph there. Almost level 3 on that Demon Hunter. Hex is going to be cast on an Archer, but the Wisps are out and they will be able to detonate that Hex. Uh, yeah, too bad it wasn't there for the Blade Master. Uh, we'll be forced to revive through the Altar. It was level 2, so it's not too expensive, but the amount of time and resources having to spend is probably not ideal. A player's forces are mm, actually, attack. Hexing on a Wisp. So Focus is that desperate to get the experience. Ogrelord can't be uh, started by the entire red team, and this should be an easy kill there. Level 3 on the Demon Hunter, and he should. Uh, the item is going to be the Warsong Battle Drums. So plus 10%, I believe. 10% uh, increased damage. Um, the best aura, I think. Uh, I mean, like compared to Fleet of Accuracy, this is 10% on every unit. So doesn't have to be ranged, it's a player's very good item. I don't know if it'd be kept though, because as an orc player it's kind of kind of double dipping because you already have Kota Beasts and they they can potentially have a better upgrade. So yeah, it's just a little bit mixed feeling I guess as an orc player I think. But of course you don't have to get Kota Beasts, but Kota Beasts are always a pretty strong option. Uh, doesn't look like Fortress Tech anytime soon. We are, or oh, we do have one Ancient of Wind, but A player's forces what are else? Under doesn't look like anything else. There's going to be a lot of archers and a couple of druids, most likely for their fairy fire. Uh, archers are going to be the main focus, it seems like, because yeah, well, they do well with. Uh, against piercing with their loons grace as well as they just do a lot of damage when they're focus firing they must be getting an easy kill there before uh, getting picks out bot lining being tossed over there from uh players for chicks under attack i can see which it is only level one but was able to pick up a single archer kill there so it seems like the same comp for the blue team Check has a lot of resources in the bank right now. He might be going for an expansion. I will have to keep an eye on that. Cloak of Flames gets picked up by Focus, so uh, I mean it could do a lot of damage, but the Blade Master is taking a huge amount that he's forced to back off a little bit. He does have an inbound, so he could pop that right now, and he is going to pop that. Scroll of the Beast actually gets uh, popped for the red team, and they're going to have a huge amount of attack bonus. Uh, from those auras there. We do have a single code of a focus, but that is being matched up with uh, the battle drums of the red team. Both play masses pretty low, but uh, 120 is one will pop in bone. Demon Hunter of Lolliet will also pop in bone, but we do hear the Demon Hunter of Czech being killed off. 
Uh, 120 is also pretty, uh, pretty much in danger as well. Uh, but it looks like it's going to be the blue team who is being pushed away, despite the demon hunter of the red team being killed off. You can see, Barrel Link, it's pretty good. But once all your units are in the low health, oh dear. Um, Team Piscola did not take the Shadow Hunter because he is not of the same, or he's not from the same player. So it may be the same team, but you can't actually TP your allies away, so Shadow Hunter gets killed off. Blade Master almost Town killed off there, so Team Hunter traded for a Shadow Hunter. But that's not the important thing. The important thing is that focus is only 30 supply versus 120 and checks 50 each, and Lolliet is 35. But that's because he has uh, both of his heroes alive as well. Uh, he has a base here, a but are under I, I, I guess that's just so it can walk over to a gold mine without having to risk being built or destroyed while being built. But that is going to be GG as, yes, yeah, surprisingly enough, uh, Red Team was able to prevail despite having the same comp. I think uh, just the item quality was better and. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys in game.